Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM, Enemy Unknown. I'm Hunter Black Luna. We are currently on Operation Black Empire. A UFO recovery mission. Crew of eight, they've pretty much got the toughest units. There's an ethereal, a sectopod, a muton elite. Oh, they brought everything to this party, so we brought our best soldier too. Mr. Haddad, our first colonel. First in war, first in peace, first in the hearts of his fellow soldiers. So, uh, ways to approach this mission. Kazumi, you're going first. Advance to full cover as you please. We are gonna take this nice and cool. We're gonna find the sectopod. We're at a corner of the map. We could clear out the UFO itself and then deal with any crew outside. If they are outside. That wouldn't be so bad. Alright, I think that's the plan. The UFO will offer us some good cover. Good cover is good. Assuming we just don't spot anything immediately, that will just kill us. Like, say, up on top of that hill. I'm really not looking forward to doing that. We bought some of our most classic soldiers. Even Deadbolt over here is a damn fine soldier, especially with them psionics. Advance to this position, please. I'm kind of expecting to spot the enemy soon, but it's only a crew of eight. It's just a large scout. Now, of course, it's a large scout full of, as I said before, the war, like the worst things ever. So we're going to be on our toes about this. But we've got some powerful weapons, including the plasma sniper rifle, which I'm kind of excited to do some testing out for. Ah, uh, good positions for people to be in. Actually, Lowrider, you take position up here, because you turn half cover into full cover. Because you can. Also, yes, I now know about the trick where you go into Overwatch with a pistol, then swap over to your rifle. And thus bypass the limit on snipers. But that's an exploit. And I try not to use too many of those. So, no. We didn't choose Snapshot, so we can't use the plasma rifle this time. Just can't do it. Sci Inspiration's not a bad ability if we're going up against bad guys. But whatever. Plasma pistols still do like four damage each. That's not terrible. Now, yeah, having the hyperwave communicator is nice because we know exactly what's coming up. Advance the full cover, please. Nothing still. Okay, I'm worried that they're going to come from that direction, though. I'm actually really worried about that. Note that we can move through the shields as far as I'm aware. We can certainly shoot through them. Yeah, we might want to redeploy a bit. Of course. Don't see anyone. Don't see anyone. <laughs> this is the game. Uh, what was the comment from One uh, M Jeff? Welcome to XCOM, the game where we scan for things and hope to God we don't see anything. Yeah, kinda. Ah, uh, they could be over there, but I, based on how I know the game so far, I doubt it. So we'll deploy so that no matter which way they come at us, we'll be flanked from somewhere. I like that. Something's giving me a bad feeling on this mission. It's probably just the presence of the second one. Yeah, we knew they were in the UFO. Composition of the enemy's forces. It's nice to be in dashing range of the EVAC, but I never, you know, set myself up for that really because I'm not planning on getting wiped out, frankly. Lowrider never goes first in any situation. Dance to here. 
ね。Now, an enemy patrol group may spawn right on top of us, which is typically more advantageous to us than you might think at first. Gotta get him to some kind of cover over here then. Getting slightly spread out. Always something to watch for. Also, half cover sucks against Protons because they just. They have a bullshit defense chance and they have a bullshit chance to just hit. So it's all fun with those guys. It's all fun. Man, if Lowrider was psionic, he would be just about literally the perfect soldier. Probably nothing over here. Oh, else. Enemy in sight. There you are. Hey guys. Well. Well, well. Nice. I'll get him next time. Fucking got him. Got his little healing gun. Falling back. None of us are flank shotting, you know. Okay, we deal with that before we press in, yeah? Yeah. Lowrider, as you please. I'm shocked that you're not flanked. It's got almost literally... Now the question is... Holy shit. Not much of a question, admittedly. More of... Oh god, is he just gonna kill him? X-ray neutralized. What? Oh, did you see that? 19 critical damage. I am fairly certain that said 19 critical damage. Holy shit. Nobody else touched that fucking disc, I'm pretty sure. Someone might have nicked it with reaction fire, but uh... No, that was, that was Lowrider. Holy shit. So usually when I talk someone up, they make it a point to uh, disappoint me badly. Yeah, she can just move in there. Let's just move in by the big shield as opposed to the narrow entrance. Everybody get ready to move it up. Stay on Overwatch so we can make mass reaction shots. Sato, is there anything you can get to for cover before actually you can get there? Nice. Go to it. I remember the time when I didn't know I could get through these. <laughs> Such an innocent time. Yeah, there's nasty stuff in there. I think I know what it is. This UFO is very similar to a... I remember seeing a sectopod was about. That's not going to be in the UFO, I'm pretty sure. Or if it is, it may be to our advantage, or it may destroy us horribly. A little hard to say. We'll have two directions to watch, though. There may very well be a bastard right there. Something to think about. Let's go look. You can't actually see in there. Oh, nice. Uh, set yourself up for Overwatch. The squad will move in to support. As best we can. Interesting, is that showing bits that can be destroyed by shooting? Or something? I don't know. The 
she'll be up there for a turn without much in the way of support. I'm a little concerned. Also, now something could come up from over there. That prospect doesn't make me happy. Why don't you dash into position here? Be ready next turn. And now it's time, gentlemen. Our star players. You can get the good cover. I'd rather you just take good cover. Lowrider can be a bit more flexible with his cover choices. I like that they don't give you an option whether to take or not, because no one ever would not take that. There's so many chest high bullshit walls. Okay, move in, clear the room. Room is most definitively now clear. Cover the flank. I'm gonna move in the other way. Okay, let's think about this. Can we stack up intelligently this turn? Really? We sort of can. Well, Ryder, you be ready just in case. Yes, I'm sending the man with flying armor in here because I don't want you to feel like sending him out on the roof alone. There's too many situations he could get into, especially considering Sectopods may or may not be able to move to follow him, and I am uh, not a fan of that prospect. So yes, the snipers are on point. They're not alone, though. We're sending everything we got to support. She can't get to cover this turn. So I figure I'll just stack her up. Get her ready to move in. Yeah. Plus, if they see us, they'll have to take their bullshit turn of moving to cover. So there's that. And you can set up the Overwatch too. Actually, I'm comfortable setting Goop Dead Overwatch right here. Yes, no cover. We know where the ethereal is. There's something out there. I'm so happy that it, that it now requires direct line of sight. I'm really happy. I legitimately am, because... It's all my Quiet. Did you hear something? There's a lot of map that the UFO could be, but there's a lot of map that the crew could be in. So we will ex exercise our cautionary extreme caution. Actually, no. Leading with that person is not good. Because they either get in there, see nothing, or they waste their whole turn. Really, it's Deadbolt on the point. that engine. We don't really need power cores the way we used to. It's nice to have them. Get up there so you have something resembling cover and you may not be flanked by the enemy. You probably will. It's just one of those things. Up in support because they are fully capable of opening the doors on their own, but only when they like hear you, pretty much. The aliens are not aggressive in this way. They they effectively just wait for you. So they a stack up on the other half, on the other part of the door. I have no doubt that they hear us stacking up though. We run pretty much everywhere. And then he sees something and we're in trouble. That would have uh, put a damper on my day. And you go ahead and stack up too. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, we hear you. You hear that? And yes, that noise that it's making is a heavy explosion. What was that? Did you that? see? It's go time. Oh, that. Wow, guys. You guys moved into like the worst possible position. I'm literally having trouble. Where is my frame panic from all nearby allies and boost their will? Not a bad move overall. Okay, okay, let's. We don't need to capture the fuckers anymore. So let's do. Wait a second. Oop, uh, you have hollow targeting. That makes it easier to hit people. Rocket will just do six. That's twelve damage to each. That's not bad. Uh, the ethereal can't kill anyone in one turn. The elite muton probably could. I don't think there's a way to avoid hitting that console. We could just give them the bum rush, but there may be more bad guys in there. Although, frankly, I doubt it. We could suppress them. I'd rather make with the shooting. How do you have a worse shot on him? See, sometimes... Sometimes the XCOM cover system is confusing. Okay, we actually are going to give them the bum rush, I think. Low Rider gets the cover. Also, there's probably more enemies back here waiting to screw us over, but he can't do much this Okay, first of all. Actually, did work. Enemy in sight. Well, that changes the situation somewhat. That actually changes the situation a lot. Now the question is, do we withdraw? Mind fray. Mind fray a fucking ethereal. That's a great idea. Well, I'm glad I didn't go immediately bum rush. This is, this is tough. This is, oh shit. Um, okay, so, I think focusing down the Berserker will be the first priority for me. Why does Mind Fray have such a shitty chance? damage. What is that thing's actual HP? Hard end. He just has a negative 20 to defense. He just does. No deadbolt. I believe you will be falling back with the other part of your turn. Can I get you to something that resembles me? If Sato moves... Ladies and gentlemen, we officially have a huge fucking problem! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Does one of the heavies have double attack? Low Rider can see someone. And nobody's flanking him. Go for this. No low rider, please don't. Thank you. Holy shit. 19 critical damage. Even a fucking berserker has to respect that. Thanks to double tap, he can do it again for less. It's because he's close, right? There we go. Rider single-handedly kills a fucking berserker with one turn. Nobody else touched the berserker. Lowrider just kills it. He just does. 
next target, I'd say, uh, we need to hit them with everything we've got. We need to deal with that one, too. Our heavy here has a chance to just straight finish the job. How about over here? He doesn't have a shot on anyone. Okay, here's the plan, guys. Move over here. Now you're fighting this guy up close. Comments them taking action. It does. Thank you. Clear the threat from our flank, freeing up our other heavy to do this. We'll damage a UFO component. Fuck it. It does ruin a bit of the cover. Not to any other area of effect we can do? So Ron has the med kits. Now Mind Frey has 100% chance. Do it. We'll also make it easier for other people to hit. There's never going to be a better time for it. There just won't. Batter up! Now... Why the hell does he have some bullshit in 8 chance? He has negative 40. He just... does. Now, there is still a sectopod out there, but having cleared these threats first, I'll feel pretty happy about that. Okay, think. What's the max crit damage on your weapon? It's not gonna say. It does up to 6 damage. He has a protection against critical hits too, even though an ethereal being hardened makes no sense. I'd love to kill him this turn if it's at all possible. Okay, Svetlana. Get up there. Also, her will is... Hard to say who's going to get hit by the Psy attack if she fails. Crit chance is still zero. <laughs> Next turn he dies, and he dies hard. And he knows... What are you doing? What are you doing? Nine damage, just like that. Not a fan. Okay, who gets the kill? Okay. Squatty, sorry. Low leveled personage. Why can't you hit the person? Oh, right, that. <coughs> what? What? He can do that? He's an ethereal, I forgot. He can do uh, any damn thing he pleases. Oh, well, Don doesn't need this way. Deadbolt, you're not a colonel yet, are you? No, you're not. Deadbolt. Deadbolt. I 
nearly screwed myself out of a chance to do this. There we go. Holy fucking shit. I've never seen one of those die before. Well, that sucked. Nobody died, though. God damn, when these guys don't just ineffectually try to mind control, they can suck the fight. Okay, just in case his buddy is there. Set up a little bit of a watch, get ourselves gathered up for the next turn. Get up there and heal him, please. Don't move. He's fine. Probably gonna have some time to spend in the sick bay. Maybe. Took what, nine? Plus. Ah, uh, the rookie was the one who took two reflected. Okay, so we've got a uh, heavy floater, sector pod, and I think uh, one of the repair drones left. Might be a heavy floater just chilling somewhere, I don't know why. Could be though. Okay, it's kind of shitty over there. Got the best of these bastards though. Okay, Svetlana, heal him again. The upgraded medkit should be one Turn of our players. Dipple's back in the fight. Where? What was that sound? Pretty sure I know. Okay. Uh, well, let's stack up for a breach. Sectopods in that room, I'll cry. My little girly baby tears. I just will. Take a reaction since we know it's right freaking there. So if he tries to come out, we are going to kill the crap out of him. Good, uh, move to here, reload. Locked and loaded. Yay. Did you actually do anything with that stuff? Whatever. Is that right to get yourself set up? I hear you. What was that sound? Sounded a fucking zombie for some reason. Whatever, have a look. Huh? Is it outside the UFO? Eric, please move up and confirm. Yeah, there's nothing here. Looks like the pilot got screwed over, at least. We captured the bridge nigh on intact. Also, that could be coming from the roof. Okay, so I think it's safe to say we're done with the UFO. That's a nice feeling, you know? Okay, everybody get together. Svetlana's gonna spot something. Huh? We heard it. it was coming from that direction and close. In fact, my bet is actually on the roof as the source of the noise. So, get ready to head back outside, everyone. Gupta won't need to go to the sick bay, assuming she's not, assuming she's not hurt worse. Freaking 
to the walls. Alright, that's not a great position for the sniper. Just reload your weapon. Locked and loaded. That's full cover, not bad. Okay, well we've cleared this place out conclusively, right? Let's head on back out. Either that or he sees it right then and it, in some like bullshit corner. I'd be I'd be quite mad. Okay, up here. Wow. Just get to cover. Yeah. Quiet! Did you hear something? Either. Either on the roof or in that one room we didn't lock. And wouldn't that just figure? I know I saw a sectopod in the crew manifest though. Which direction do I get him cover from? That's the problem. Heavy floaters are no joke, and they have grenades, so there's that. There isn't tons of cover out here. Kinda shit cover. In fact, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say real shit cover. If you haven't already, try imagining this LP as my commentary is being heard as like the base commander's commentary like through the radio. So everything I'm saying, the soldiers here, including when I belittle their cover and their safety. Just imagine that for a moment. Okay, hey, he's... You hear anything? He's definitely outside. <laughs> Creepy fucking noises. I hear voices in my head. You can get behind that, but it's not full cover for some reason. Okay, Kazumi. Spot. Jack shit. Well, let's deploy on this side then, I guess. Set up for Overwatch. 